I bought 6.74 acres of farmland. And that's it right there. I came across it on my travels and it immediately spoke to me. And I knew I had been wanting to do something physical with the environment, something completely different from like the online income that I had been making. And I came across this land, called up the agent, put in an offer immediately, and am working actually with the USDA, uh, US Department of Agriculture. I got a land loan for 70%, and I'm gonna put 30% down of my cash, and I'm two days out from this being mine. Now, since it's New York State, they, there's a three-day attorney review that has to go on, and I'm in that right now. And I'm two days out from it being pending to me. I have to wait two more days, but what the hell do I plan to do with this land, right? Okay, so I'm nuts. You guys know this. I had been craving a new challenge, something I haven't done before, something so different from Fiverr, yet something that I could use technology in at the same time. And I kind of had this vision of these huge, gorgeous greenhouses, like two of them, set up unconventionally, growing microgreens in them, maybe mushrooms, maybe cannabis, you know, who knows. Uh, definitely microgreens to start because that's something you guys can grow at home or in your apartment. So I want this to be a relatable content for everyone. If you want to learn how to make money off of the tiniest bit of land that's this big, an acre, maybe just your apartment, maybe your roof, I'm going to be covering all of that and more here. And I'm not a farmer, I have no prior experience growing agricultural crops, so I want this to be the least pretentious, overwhelming, like, scary thing ever. I feel like nobody else out there has done this. I feel like nobody has documented from A to Z, how does one buy farmland in the US? How does that work? What do they do with it? What does the zoning board allow? What do you do if the land doesn't have all the utilities plugged into it? This is only partially plugged in. It doesn't have electric uh, brought out to it. I'm going to find out and I'm going to document it like a scientist on here, except it's going to be amusing too. There's going to be animals. I'm going to set up Twitch streams on stuff. I'm going to experiment with every possible way to make money off of your physical space. So there's going to be relatable make money content in here for you guys but instead of the usual make money online stuff that i have gotten so bored of because i feel like it has been covered ad nauseum it is saturated i'm going to make money on a farm and it's not going to be a normal farm it's going to be a lot of things that you guys can replicate yourselves or just follow along and laugh if you want because um I've never really grown stuff before, so <laughs> probably going to kill a lot of plants and I'm going to have fun while I do it. And I think I just want to demonstrate that you can start a business today that uses the land that allows you to move around, move your physical body, go outside, allows you to make money and allows you to do all of it without pillaging the environment and absolutely shredding it like every freaking corporation in this country does. I'm want to make farmland feel warm and fuzzy and accessible to everybody watching this. I really want the everyday person to buy up the land in this country. Wall Street is buying it, just so you know. That's why home prices and everything are going up. I want you to buy this land before Wall Street does. And I understand if it seems overwhelming and I understand it's a financial risk. So I'm basically gonna prove to you that it's not a financial risk. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it so that you can go do the exact same thing. I'm obviously going to write a book about it, maybe five books about it, to be honest, because this is such an exciting type of thing I've never done before. And I feel like a lot of people want to go off grid. They want to grow their own food. They know that we're being poisoned by the food, all this stuff, but they don't know where to begin. They don't know how the heck to get involved with it. And guess what? I don't either, but I'm just going to put one foot in front of the other one day at a time and... This is the land. So I'm two days away from this being it. And all I can say is I have crazy plans and dreams for what I wanna do with this. If, if you're an engineer watching this and you are into green 
modular housing, you have really funky stuff like an all glass house or something, please get in contact with me. I'd love to put it on this land. Since it's zoned ag, it's very forgiving for all the different things I can do on here. But do remember, always call up the, the local zoning board and just chit chat with them first before you buy it to know what's allowed. So for example, up to four large animals are allowed on this land and no more than that. So I just found that by calling them. But again, I know all of this seems daunting and overwhelming. I am going to make it as simple, fun, funny, self-deprecating as possible. It's going to be wild. I am now officially a farmpreneur and I want to be the crossover of the craziest technology with the craziest, greenest stuff you've ever seen combined to prove that you can still have all your amenities, you can still live in a futuristic world, yet put the environment first. And I just don't feel like any companies or people have really proven that yet. And I feel like there's a really big opportunity for people to come in and demonstrate that. So I'm gonna do it. Uh, also shout out to Cody Sanchez, who I follow, who inspired me to come out of passive income retirement. I had been retired really the last two years from all my different passive income streams. You guys can check out all my other videos that go over why I was able to retire like that. I think retiring is awful for you mentally. I think it's just awful. I think humans are meant to toil in some way. And sorry, car. Whether that's folding clothes or running a business, I don't think retiring is a good thing for people. And she inspired me. She said the entrepreneurs in this country need to come forward and stop being so damn lazy and start inventing, creating, doing, exploring. Because uh, that's what we're supposed to do. You're not supposed to just sit around and collect your check once a month. So I was very unhappy doing that the past few years. So I would much rather be out here like a crazy person uh, in my overalls than sitting home collecting my check. This I have learned. I will cover that as well. I will cover the mental side of what passive income can accidentally do to you mentally. Is it still great to have some in the background? Absolutely. You don't ever want to have to worry about paying your bills. And I do believe the passive income is what is allowing me to go be a case study on this. So who better but me? I have the time. I have the passive income to do it. And I want to make it all easier for you guys. And it's going to be really funny. I promise it's going to be really funny, but I can't do anything to the land yet for a little bit. So for now, just look at it. Look at it. Come on. It's nice land, right? I'm pretty stoked about it, but I want to jinx it. I'm two days out. Stick around. I am still the freelance fairy who's just now a farming freelance fairy. Uh, plenty of green. Plenty of the usual me covering all of the different ways you can possibly monetize different things. And it will include tech streams too. So I'm back. I'm going to try uploading at least once a week. I'm going to have so much content for you guys. It might be twice a week. So I hope you've all been well. Comment below to say hi. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how your freelancing business is. If you've read Freelance Your Way to Freedom, tell me how you liked it. Or if you didn't like it, you can tell me that too. You guys know the usual. And I hope you like these more laid back types of videos because I actually like them better than the overly edited ones. And I have a lot to say. So I'll be back soon to say even more things. But with that, hope you guys are crushing it. Get ready to watch me with my pitchfork out here in my greenhouse. It's going to be funny. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Bye, guys.